your master teacher of chemistry at Vedanta. So it's Sunday, so you might be wondering, let's make something because nowadays it's very difficult to step out and eat, right? So what do you guys like? Mm, burger, pizza, cookies, donuts. So what is the chemistry of cookies? What happens inside an oven? Any idea? No, I am not going to do it for you. We are not baking cookies here. So let me make it here for you because I am a very bad cook. Okay, so I'll just tell you the chemistry of cookies. That's it, which I am probably I'm good at. So chemistry of cookies, what happens inside that oven? A series of reactions. Yes, it's maybe chemistry here. See, chemistry is everywhere. That is the reason you have to study chemistry. So from dough to cookies, what are the series of reactions that you can see? The first thing is you will add butter to the dough, right? So I'm sure you know how to make the to prepare the dough because I don't think I can explain it now. So first the butter melts. So what happens? Obviously the dough. So the melting of butter will lead to the spreading out of the dough. Okay. So but butter is basically an emulsion. Emulsion is it will be in the form of droplets, liquid droplets, which is immiscible. Hana? It does not get dissolved. Right? This is something which we know. Immiscible liquids. Yes. Water and fat. Butter is basically fat. So obviously it will be like an emulsion. So as butter melts, so at, as butter melts, what happens? The water, the water jo bhi hai, which was trapped, it will be released. See, you can see the change, right? So as the butter melts, the trapped water will be released. And then, so cookies, they get hotter, right? Um, because you're baking it. So that whatever the water has been released, it will expand into steam. So that is the reason you can see the change in the size. The volume will also increase, right? That is because the water has been, the liquid water has been converted into steam. Whatever the water was dropped or whatever was trapped, it will be released and it starts expanding into steam. And the egg contains protein. You have to add egg, right? So what are those? What are those proteins basically? They're the long chain amino acids. Hana? So as the temperature increases, even in the structural protein ke structure, maybe there will be changes. So these egg proteins, every protein, it's not like there is only one type of protein. So every protein is uh, temperature sensitive. So maybe at different temperatures, there will be change in their structure. So these proteins are fresh egg proteins are basically they are coiled up they are the coiled structure which you can see here but as the temperature increases so as you start heating the protein strings will start unfolding and gets tangled up okay first it was like this now on heating what happens it starts unfolding and it gets just tangled up so that is what is going to happen and then what happens as the proteins you know there is this change in its structure so the tangled up proteins will make the runny egg basically if you just crack the egg open so it just runs right so that will be converted into solid because of this change so on, as you heat so there will be structural changes okay and then at 100 degrees celsius what happens the water obviously boils from liquid state to vapor state so whatever the water was there in the cookie, whatever the moisture content was there, so it will be converted into steam. So the cookies, they get dried and stiffens. So in the cracks, because of the lack of moisture, so that is the reason you can find those cracks on the cookies. But why are we adding baking soda? This is something which I have already told you, the baking powder, baking soda. So there will be release of carbon dioxide, which gets trapped. So that is the reason it will be spongy or fluffy and crispy on the outside and the very, uh, what can you say, very soft in the inside, right? That is because of addition of baking soda. And what exactly happens is Maillard reaction. So what is this? So the proteins and sugars, they break down and rearrange into the ring-like structure. So you, can, you could see, so the uh, structure of proteins were different, right? Here, then what happens, there will be breakage 
of these proteins and these uh, sugars that is basically carbohydrates and proteins so there will be breakdown of the structure so whatever the original structure was there it will be lost and they will form a ring like structure so this these ring like structure will give our food whatever you're making you know maybe the uh, barbecue or the baking so this reaction where the proteins and sugars so they are they undergo this breakage and then they'll form a ring like structure so that brown distinct color is big because of this reaction and this ring like structure will also provide a range of flavor and aroma so how will we know that something is baking it's because of the smell right so that is because of the ring like structure and caramelization you know what is caramelization so that sweet nutty and slightly bitter flavor flavor compounds is because of the caramelization process so this is everything about the chemistry of cookies so now you know whenever your mom or dad is making cookies whenever they are someone is baking cookies you can just tell them you know what is the chemistry of cookies so what exactly happens a set of reactions now you can explain it to them so and along with that if you want to take up the pro subscription just visit the link given the description box and you know what to do three easy peasy steps there choose your grade board and click on to the get subscription but if you want to avail some discount which everyone loves then do not forget to use the coupon code SURPRO for additional 20% discount. And make sure you share this video with your friends also so they can learn the chemistry of cookies or the mystery behind the formation of cookies. And do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much to love. It was Surabhi, your master teacher of chemistry at Vedanti. Bye-bye.